Hello, my name is Lindsay. I am the president of the Silver Stage Porsche Club. I'd like to welcome you to the virtual 2020 October Fast. This, the proceeds from this event will benefit the Idaho 3rd District Guardian Ad Litem Program. We hope that you enjoy watching the various Porsche videos. And remember, it's not just the cars, it's the people. Hello everybody, how are you today? I'm Eddie Radisky, General Sales Manager of Porsche of Boise. Welcome to the virtual Oktoberfest 2020. Porsche of Boise is once again to be a proud sponsor of this annual event that is benefiting the Silver Sage Club's charity, 3rd District Guardian Ad Litem. We wish we could be all together at the village, but the Oktoberfest tradition will at least live on virtually this year. Next year, we will hopefully see everyone in person we appreciate the members supporting the Porsche brand, but we also know that with Silver Sage, it's not only the cars, it's the people. We really appreciate your time and effort, and uh, thank you. The Third Judicial District Guardian Ad Litem Program is the Silver Sage Region's charity for 2020. The program appoints guardians to serve as the voice of children who have been abused, neglected, or abandoned. Last year, their program served 753 children, 580 the year before, and the need continues to grow. 30 seconds is not enough time to explain the program or the desperate need for volunteers and additional funds. Their website, the number 3rddistrictguardian.com, has a five minute video that gives details about the program. Please go to their website and help the Guardian Ad Litem program with your donations. Hi, I'm Jay with Simmons Fine Jewelry. On behalf of all of us at Simmons Fine Jewelry, we are pleased to once again sponsor the trophies for Oktoberfest. For 2020, the trophies will be presented in a virtual manner. What this means is that some of the money that would have been spent for trophies will be donated to your charity. We encourage all of you to do your part and contribute to the charity by registering for virtual Oktoberfest. Hi, I'm Bob Denton and this is my 1964 Porsche 356 C. Yes, the color is green and we purchased this about five years ago. This is the trunk. This is an original steering wheel, and that is an original radio. This is the engine, and this is my cool license plate. This is the rack on the back. This is me. This is my Peterson Museum t-shirt, and this car is right there. Hey, thank you very much for looking at my video. I'm very fortunate to have my man cave, my four Porsches, and my airplane. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hello, my name is Wade Nelson, and this is my 1970 914 6 GT with 31,000 original models. It's been a two year ground up restoration. 914 6 GT front oil cooler set up with the bumpers front and rear. Seven and eight inch Fuchs by 15 RSR finish. Paint is fly yellow, it was originally metallic red. Engine is a 2.5 short stroke twin plug, dynoed at 237 horsepower. has a twin pipe sport muffler on it. Kind of loud and does draw attention a little bit. Brakes are 914.6 GT in the rear and early 911S calipers in the front. That's my car. Enjoy the show. Hi, Pete Olson here. This is my fully restored 1973 Bahia Red 914. It has GT flares and GT interior a modified 2 liter with 5 speed, 911 SC front suspension, and disc brakes.
I'm Lawrence Stumbaugh and this is my 1977 Reseda Green 924, second year of the front engine water-cooled transaxle torque tube cars. Hasn't ran for many years. I have the front suspension out, the transmission out, and the gas tank out, all in preparation of getting that stuff done. You can see the transmission down there in the corner, and here's the front suspension. My name is Al Knight. This is my 1966 912 Porsche that I bought in Portland, Oregon 38 years ago. The color is uh, Irish Mist. It was painted in San Diego by Alden Ferris, and the interiors are by Autos International in Solana Beach. The engine, uh, the re most recent work done on the car for the engine was by uh, Red Marshall. He rebuilt the engine from the bottom up. Vote for me. Vote for me. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Meyer speaking, and I'm proud to uh, introduce you to my 1972 911S. Kind of an outlaw that we put together, still numbers matching. And um, it's basically a 72S that in 1975, it was sent to Andile. And the owner at that time spent many thousands of dollars building a three liter twin plug 911 engine in it. And it is fabulous. It goes like the wind. I took a few liberties on the interior kind of a quilted look and the color is Mercedes anthracite and I uh, just thought I'd show you this beautiful masterpiece twin plug three liter great fun and it's my little runaround when I'm not driving that hello my name is Tom Dabney and this is my Sahara beige 1974 IROC Tribute Spec 911 race car. It's got kind of an interesting history because it started life as a 1976 912 and the original owner in 2002 converted it to a 993 wide body GT class car and then the previous owner in 2013 converted it to its current spec which is a spec 911. It runs the original configuration, torsion bar suspension. It's got a fairly stock 3.2 liter motor, fairly stock 915 transmission, and it runs seven and eight inch Fuchs wheels, 16 inches in diameter. It's super fun to drive, puts a smile on my face, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hi guys. My name is Jesse Mortensen. This is my 1977 Porsche 911 S. I actually just pulled this out of a barn uh, a, a few months ago. It had been parked for 17 years. So it's all dirty. We're still servicing it and getting it cleaned up. I run a website, barnfinds.com, where we talk about cars like this. So if you guys get a chance, check that out. Excited to be a new member of the club here in Boise and, and meet a few, few of you when we can get together. So. Vote for me. Hello, my name is Randy Wyatt. This is my 1979 Porsche 911 America Roadster Outlaw. Hi, I'm Dennis Dunlop. My wife Patricia and I have owned a uh, 1981 911SC since 2005. The car had 60,000 miles on it when we got it. It now has 92. We've had a lot of fun with it and uh, hope to have many more years with the car. Thank you.
This is Dave Keim. My wife, Mary Puccio, and I own this 1989 911 Targa 3.2 liter Carrera. This is the final model year for this car, this edition that ran 1987 through 89. We call the car air-cooled as it is. And this car has just over 52,000 miles on it. Good afternoon. This is Andrew King, and I'm a Porsche guy. And this is my 1989 Grand Prix White Porsche 930. That's right, the 930. That's the turbo. Did someone say turbo? That's the one with the whale tail, right? It sure is the one that was on everybody's poster in high school. Hi everybody, I'm Gary Cuddy Ford. I'm one of the co-chairs for our 2020 virtual Oktoberfest. This is one of our entries this year. This is a 1990 C4 Cabriolet. It's a linen metallic is what they call the paint color. It has 135,000 miles on it and we've had it for the last 13 years. You can vote for my car. But even if you don't, we want you to donate to our charity, 3rd District Guardian Ad Litem. Thank you very much. Wait a second, that's not the car. There it is over there. This is Bob Pentecost with my 1997 Carrera 4S. The 4S model is based on a lot of turbo stuff, like the big red brakes come from the turbo model. Also the wide body is the same as the turbo. The wheels and suspension are turbo suspension, but alas, there is no turbo. Hope you enjoyed the show. My name is Ann Barch, and this is my 911 Millennium Edition 996. Her name is Heidi, and she is number 772 out of 911 made. I think the coolest thing about Heidi is her color, which is officially called Violet Chroma Flare. Depending on the light, she can look purple, green, brown, or even sometimes just black. Hi, this is Ken Robinson, and this is my 2000 Porsche Carrera. Uh, just two wheels, and it is midnight metallic blue. And it has the aero kit and GT3 wheels. I've owned it since 2012, and I've put about 63,000 miles on it. It's been a great car. This is Pat Clifford with entry number two, 2003 Carrera C4S, Arctic Silver. It's the color on it. I picked it up in 2013. It's been a joy to drive. It allowed me to get in with the Silver Sage Porsche folks and love being with those guys and here's the money shot thanks hope you vote for it hello this is steve colburn and this is my 2005 Carrera 911 s launch edition with about 44,000 miles on it the car has 16-way sport seats has a factory porsche short shift kit 917 style shift knob as well as it has an OZ 
lightweight wheels, carbon ceramic brakes. Hope you enjoy. Please vote for me. I hope you guys heard a little bit of the music. I put it on to get you in the right mood for the October Fest and the October Fest as well. I'm Klaus. I'm living in Spokane. I'm a member of the INWR, Porsche Club of America. This is my car, a 911, 997 Carrera 4. The car has been a number of times in Boise and Meridian for the uh, Oktoberfest. And I'm very, very sorry, really, to uh, be unable to make it this year due to the coronavirus situation. But I'm very, very hopeful that we will be back next year. Prost to all of you, or like the people in Munich would say, eins, zwei, zufer. I'm Molly Cuddy Ford. I don't consider red to be my color except for the guard red on this 2007 997 C4S. It was covered in several inches of snow the day we bought it, Valentine's Week 2013. The majority of the 36,000 miles we have driven it have been with Silver Sagers. We have made lifetime friends proving it's not just the cars, it's the people. My name is Chris Beeson and this is Cinda and my 2013 Carrera, Guards Red. I'm here to talk about the charity auction. Our charity this year is the third district guardian ad litem program. The guardian ad litems are appointed by the court to represent children who are going through the court system. Please visit our website for the club and click on the charity button. Come out for the charity virtual auction this year. I'm Vicki Cannon. This is my 2014 Turbo. And these are my 20 inch Boots Sport Wheels. The color is pure white and the interior is platinum gray. It has a fab speed exhaust with 550 horsepower. Perfect for a quick trip to the grocery store. Bye! <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Mark Falsani and this is my 2014 Porsche Carrera, on his base Carrera. This is finished in rhodium silver. Options externally are uh, it's the 20 inch Carrera classic wheels. Rhodium silver metallic outside. Interior's uh, finished in black leather, seven speed manual. Very fun car to drive. I'm going to take it for a drive right now. So anyway, thanks for the consideration. Everybody have a good Oktoberfest. Hi, this is Andrew King. And this is my 2018 Miami Blue 911 GT3. The GT3 is the last of the normally aspirated 911 cars from Porsche. The interior of the GT3 is stripped down to save weight and this car has the full bucket carbon fiber seats and of course a manual transmission. Hello this is Ernie Monroe and this is our 2018 Carrera GTS. Uh, a few interesting facts about this car is it came with silver instead of black wheels. It has uh, full tan and black leather upholstery as opposed to Alcantara upholstery. Uh, color is carmine red and uh, we bought the car out of New Hampshire. Uh, hope you like it. Ernie Monroe, carmine red GTS. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jay Simmons. This is a 2019 Lava Orange Porsche Carrera T. 
9-11. Has beautiful wheels. I love the gray mirrors on it. It's got a sunroof. We put my wife and son put the name carrots on the license plate. Carrots to represent carrots and diamonds or carrots because it's orange. Could be either one. I think mostly because it's carrots for all the diamonds we've sold. Fun car to drive. Love the color. Hi, this is John Summerwork and this is our car Gunner. Gunner is a 2019 GT3 RS. She has 525 horsepower, all wheel steering. She's a very spirited driver. One of the nice things about Gunner is that she came with a very unique option. Gunner came with a breakfast bar. Breakfast bar, as you can see, allows for opera drive eating. It is so nice to get there and have a nice cold beer waiting for you. Enjoy. Please vote for Gunner. Goodbye. My name is Blair Birch, and this is a 2020 911 in Carmine Red. This is the 992 series, which had the active front end louvers that actually set themselves depending on what speed you're traveling for the best downforce. Porsche also staggered the front and rear rims this year with a 20 inch on the front and a 21 on the back for slightly better handling. And the rear spoiler is also active for the best fuel economy and downforce. Hello, all PCA members. This is Mark and Sylvia Zicavelli coming to you from beautiful Eagle, Idaho. We would like to introduce you to Zivaloche. He is a 2020 911 Carrera S, first year of the new 992 generation. He is painted in carmine red and has spider wheels, a black interior with deviated red stitching. He's also equipped with a premium and sport package. We brought him home April 17, 2020. This is our first Porsche and it is a wonderfully built sports car that we love to drive. Welcome virtual October fast attendees. This is Laura Outlaw and this is my 2000 ocean blue metallic Porsche Boxster uh, with gray interior. Uh, it is now celebrating its 20th anniversary. Um, I actually purchased the car in 2011. So I've actually owned it for nine years, um, but have enjoyed every minute with it. Um, love the convertible, love the fun, um, and really enjoy the car. I'm Walt Gamble, and this is my 2001 Boxster S, an Arctic Silver. Came to me in 2014, courtesy of Jeff Woody at Porsche Boise. The original owner was Peter Cetera, who was lead singer for the band Chicago, if any of you remember that. And the car had 9,800 miles on it when I got it. It was pristine. It has about 40,000 on it now. IMS has been fixed. It's a really nice car. This is Mark Brzezinski, and this is my 2013 Amaranth Red Metallic Boxster. I first saw the Amaranth Red color on Tilly Hammond's car up from Washington and uh, decided this might make a good retirement color boxster for me. I got this one locally from Larry Walter, a Silver Sager. Hello, my name is Lindsay Robinson and this is my 2014 Porsche Boxster. The color is Agate Gray Metallic. The interior is Luxor Beige. This car has almost 30,000 miles on it. I love driving this car at autocross or on tours with the club. I uh, love driving it to work. So thank you for watching my video and make sure to give Sabina a vote.
Hi, this is Randy Bloom, and this is my 2006 Cayman S, aka the 987.1, with a six speed manual transmission in carmine red metallic. Has 47,000 miles. I swapped out the side marker for the Euro ones, but other than that, it's pretty much just like it left the factory. It is a 3.4 liter engine, which is derived from 3.2 in the Boxster S, but they use the heads from the 987 Carrera. Jeremy Clarkson says, it's a hoot to drive, and if you drive it well, it's as crisp as a frosty morning, and who can argue with Jeremy? I'm Paul Kazmarek. Lori and I ordered this 2014 Porsche Cayman S in aqua blue metallic. It has uh, interior trim and body color, platinum gray leather, and a manual transmission. With a curb weight of 2,950 pounds, 325 horsepower, and its mid-engine configuration, it's both fast and agile. Hi, this is Seth Nichols, and this looks like a Cayenne Turbo 2008 with the 21 inch wheels. Let's check it out. Oh, it's even unlocked. Wow, is this clean? This was well cared for. Let's check it out. How many miles are on it? Oh, 136,000 miles. Oh my goodness, the keys are in it. Oh, all right. I think I gotta go. Hi, this is Vicki Pentecost, and this is our Porsche Cayenne GTS. It's a 2013, and the co color is carmine red. And you remember the bunny from last year? This year he's a little different with his COVID mask on, but trying to protect everybody and keep everybody safe. And one of the best features of the car is the amount of storage space and how much wine we can transport. Hoping that next year we can all be drinking together and celebrating Oktoberfest together. Hi, this is Walt Gamble. This is my 2014 Cayenne diesel. As you can see with the trailer back there, my 2009 backpack. Cayennes are more than just a pretty face. It does its job. It's quite the utility vehicle. And it's a Porsche when the trailer's not with it. Hi, I'm Wayne Newton, and this is my 2014 Porsche Panamera GTS. Equipped with a 4.8 liter, 440 horsepower, normally aspirated V8, all wheel drive, 22 inch gloss black rims mounted with Pirelli P0s. A lot of interior goodies and add-ons added for extra good looks. Carmine red is the color. Gets a lot of thumbs up as I go down the road. I think it's a winner, don't you? Pat Clifford here with my 2016 Cayenne Platinum. The color is Carrara, as in marble, white and got this last year and love it we take it up in the mountains quite a bit and it rides really nice and corners very nice did the wheels in black and kind of made the ebony and ivory look to it with the lettering in the back hope you vote for it see ya hi everybody my name is gary cuddy ford i'm your co-chair for this year's uh, virtual Oktoberfest. uh this is a 2017 cayenne s that we are going to enter this year. It is a Meteor Gray Metallic. It's a great car, drives wonderful. Porsche uh, can also make a high performance SUV and it will pull a trailer. Please support our charity, the Third District Guardian Ad Litem. Thank you. 
This is Lauren Stumbaugh. This is my 2018 Macan Sport Edition. It is white. We acquired it this year. And so far, we are just loving it. It's a great little ride. Really surprised me. This is Linda Przinski. I'd like you to meet Pickles. She's a 2020 Macan base model. The color is Mamba Green Metallic. I've wanted one of these ever since we were in Leipzig, Germany in 2018 and I saw a Mamba Green body going overhead on the assembly line. So I had to have one. Finally found one this spring in Denver. And the thing I like about her especially is that she's got a huge sunroof. Everybody taking a little stroll here through Oktoberfest. Well, I've got some, a lot of nice cars here today. That's a good looking 944. And I got a turbo there. Wow, somebody brought a 918. I didn't know there's one of those in town here. Nice white 911 there. Hey, that looks like Bob's 993 there. Looking good, Bob. Always nice. Nice 911. Hey, is, that must be Waltz came in there. Yeah, it looks pretty sharp. Wow, GT2 RS. I did not know. There's one of those roaming around either. Oh, looks like Magnus brought his number 277. It's a pretty famous car. We're awful lucky to have it. Uh, some more nice 911s there. Sharp 356 coming up here. And uh, hey, somebody needs to call Sid and tell him to get his darn Mustang out of here. That doesn't belong. Another 911 there. Anyway, everybody have a great show. Hi everyone, I'm Gary Cuddy Ford, your Oktoberfest co-chair. We hope you have enjoyed this virtual car show. Thank you for participating. Remember to vote for your favorite cars. I want to thank our sponsors, Porsche of Boise, Simmons Jewelry, and the Village at Meridian. And hopefully we will see you next year on October 3rd, 2021 at the Village at Meridian. Thank you so much.